Hi, welcome to the Stoltian YouTube channel. Uh, today I'd like to be talking about the stereotaxic instrument 51730D, the digital stereotaxic just for mouse. So let's get started. All right, once you've received your stereotaxic instrument, it's quite simple to assemble. All you have to do is open up the box You'll have at the bottom of the box this base plate with the AP arm already mounted on it. In a second box you'll have the digital manipulator arm and in a third box you'll have your digital display. Simply attach the connectors back into the back of the digital display and take your uh, manipulator arm and mount it directly onto the AP drive and tighten down. It's that simple. All right, so once you have the manipulator arm mounted onto the AP drive, you will notice this is our traditional triple lead screw digital manipulator arm. Uh, it comes with this 51730D system. The use of this system is quite easy. You have different ways of moving the arm. You can simply loosen this screw. This can swing back and forth, tighten it down. Here you have the swivel part that can be moved and then put back into place. And then over here in the back is another screw that allows for angles. So you can simply adjust the angle as needed. You will notice that as I'm tightening it down, that it will go back to zero automatically without me having to move it. That's due to an innovative part of Stolting's manipulator arms with a little indentation that moves it back into absolute zero. So in, with the 51730D, digital stereotactic just for mouse, uh, this it comes equipped with our standard arm that's been uh, outfitted with digital sensors. It also has the vernier scales. You can't see them very well from here, but that is kind of a backup. So if, even if the digital sensor were to go out, you still have access to the vernier scale. All right, so let me tell you a little bit about the base of this particular model. So the 51730 series, the Just for Mouse series, has a base plate that is 25 by 25 centimeters. It has three vertical posts. Two of these posts are holding the ear bars. And these ear bars each have different ways of holding the animal's head. You have the traditional way of inserting into the ear canal of the mouse. And then the other side is these rubber tips that are available for uh, a different type of hold or they're very good for neonatal mice or rats. Uh, these can be removed, these rubber tips, taken off, and a jaw cuff for the zygomatic process of the jaw of the mouse or just covering the ear can also be used. But the more traditional or the uh, placement that people mostly use are the uh, insertion into the ear canal of the mouse. All right, so what's included with the ear bars is, are the rubber tips the traditional insertion into the animal's auditory uh, canals, as well as the jaw cuffs. The snout clamp also comes with this system, is included with this system, and this is for holding the animal's head. This is a way to put the teeth in, lock the teeth in front incisor teeth, and then clamp this over the head. This is the clamp that's good for when doing injectable anesthesia. So another feature included with all of our Stolting stereotactics now is our inclusion of a rodent warming base. So with when purchasing our controller, whether it's the X1 or X2, you simply can attach a cord to the bottom of the base and it will heat the animal up and maintain a certain level of, of heat for the animal to stay comfortable during surgery. All right, so now I want to tell you some of the advantages associated with the 51730D digital stereotactic just for mouse. In order to do that, I want to show you the display. All right, so using the digital display is very easy. It's all a touchscreen display. I have here, I'm using a little felt pen, but you can certainly use your finger if you want. You see the uh, identifications for each of the axes. AP stands for anterior posterior. ML is medial lateral and DV is dorsal ventral. And these same three labels are the same three labels on the back of the instrument for making your connections. So 
to move the numbers, it simply means turning the dial. So I'll start with the AP, and you see as I turn it, I'm changing the numbers. That's instead of having to read the vernier scale, you now can see your movement on this display. And same thing with the ML and DV. So that's good. So what, what this means is now you can drive each of your axes to your zero point. And for most people, that's Bregma. So once you've opened up the animal and identified where the Bregma location is, you've taken your drill bit or your syringe needle to that location. And that is what you call your zero point. We've created a way to just simply reset your zero position. And when you do that, now when you need to move to your coordinates, you can simply, whatever the coordinates are, move right to them. All right, so another feature, once you've driven, say, to 1.6, but that is corresponding to what you would actually do on a vernier scale. That is 100 micrometer increments. What you can do now is by simply pushing here, is changing that to tenths. So now you can move 10 microliters at a time. So as I turn this drive, I can go in between the 1.6 to 1.7. So I can drive 1.68, 9 to 1.7. So I have even a little more accuracy than I did before uh, when I was just moving at 100 micron increments. So these are the main features with the touchscreen digital display. Very easy to use. To review, you simply move your axes on the stereotaxic frame to adjust the numbers on the digital display. If you want to go back and forth from hundredths to tenths, you simply push down here. And each of the axes is capable of that same shift from one hundredths, one hundredths to tenths. All right, so this is a view of the back showing the digital display touchscreen controller. And as I said, you have the AP, ML, and DV ports in the back that correspond to the AP, ML, and DV drives on the stereotaxic instrument. The power port is 6 to 24 volts, which is included. And then the power switch on off is here to the right. This little hole right here is a power reset button. If the touch screen is not working accurately, you can try sticking a paper clip in there to reset the display. Uh, otherwise, if you do have this problem, please call technical support at Stolte and we'll be glad to help. All right, so if you have any problems with the digital display, meaning it's not responding to a touch, it's very easy to recalibrate it. You simply move it, Come to the back, take the Allen key that was included with the stereotaxic instrument, push it into this little port in the back, hold it for just one or two seconds. And then you get this recalibration screen. And you simply just need to tap into the center of each circle. and then it'll ask you to do it a second time. And there you go, that should be perfectly recalibrated, ready to use. All right, so thank you for listening for, to our new uh, 51730D Just for Mouse digital stereo taxic instrument. If you have any questions, you can, you can visit our website, www.stoltingco.com, or call us 630-860-9700. And please uh, find other of our YouTube channel video presentations online here. Thank you.